Hello all, welcome to part 14 of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to log JSON content into the generated Extent Report. So let's get started. So in the previous session, I showed you how to log XML content into the generated Extent Report by using the markup helper dot created code block. In the similar manner, in the current session, I'm going to show you how to log the JSON content instead of the XML content. If you want to log the JSON content into generated extent report, what to do? Same code we have to use, same markup helper dot created code block. Here we have to provide the JSON content and say mention code language dot JSON. Okay. That's that's what is the difference. Okay. Nothing much. So let me practically show you how the JSON is getting displayed. Uh, okay without this markup helper and with the markup helper, how the JSON content is being displayed or being logged into the extent report. Let's see that now. Okay. So first of all, let's go to the website, which has the example, uh, example, JSON content or uh, XML content that is JSON ORG. Just Google search for JSON space ORG and you'll get this JSON example in the search results. And this is an example for the JSON. This is an example for XML. This is an example for JSON, uh, for the same JSON content. The, Similar XML content is this one. Okay, we want the JSON content this time. I'll copy this uh, JSON content, menu ID, value, and all those things are there. So here, I'll just paste it here in the double quotes. Okay. Now, instead of mentioning that as XML content, I'll mention that as JSON content because now we have JSON here. This JSON content, if I try to, okay, here already the test is created with the test one and uh, using the object reference of the extenders, we are logging. Uh, in info log we are doing and if i directly try to log the json content what is going to happen let's see first okay directly json content if i try to log okay without using markup helper and all what's going to happen let's see first okay whether this json content will be logged into the generated xm uh, generated uh, extent report or not let's see okay xml was not getting gener uh, logged directly but what about json json is getting logged you see, JSON is getting logged, but one problem I have with this uh, log JSON content is it's not properly organized. If you see the example one, how it is properly organized here, the format is not good. Okay. So if I copy this again, if I have to understand this, I have to go for some external tools here, like a uh, JSON formatter or something, a uh, JSON format. Okay. Format JSON or whatever it is. You'll get some tools guys. Okay. Uh, JSON formatter dot org is coming. Let's see. Uh, in this, on the left side, if I face uh, whatever the unformatted, uh, non-formatted JSON and click on, uh, let's say, format, okay? Then on the right side, you see this is a formatted JSON, okay? For the left side, unformatted JSON, this is how it has to come. But in the generated extent report, the, lo the logged JSON content is coming, but XML was not coming in the previous session, but at least JSON text is coming, but it's not coming in the formatted fashion okay formatted external fashion it's not coming a uh, formatted json formatted is not coming in order to get in the formatted json format we have to do the changes here instead of directly mentioning json content here you just write down markup helper dot create code block create code block in that two arguments you have to provide okay first argument is this json content okay comma then uh code language dot code language what is this json content uh string consists of which language json okay just mention json now let's run this and see with the help of markup uh, helper like how the uh, how the json content will be logged whether it will be logged in a formatted way or not let's see that now so i have run in a while it will open the report you'll see now the rest got created, got passed. Info log is there, and in the info log contains the you see JSON, JSON content in a proper format, in a proper formatted way. Okay, this is what is the use of using the markup helper in case of the JSON, in case of logging the JSON content into the extent reports. Okay, we have to use the markup markup helper for this case. Okay. So hope guys, you understood uh, how to log the JSON content into the generated extent report in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another uh, topic on extent reports. So see you there. Bye. Thank you.